Thanks for logging on to ABC15.com. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. It's still going to be dry in the valley today. We'll see just a few high clouds out there, but otherwise mostly sunny. We've got a chance for storms in northeast and southeast Arizona, and then that monsoon moisture starts to work its way back in to our state tomorrow, and that'll bring back our storm chances here in the valley. But in the meantime, the storm threat mainly to our northeast and to our southeast over the higher terrain east of the valley too, but I think the bulk of the action will be confined to southeast Arizona, and you'll see that here on Futurecast. The valley Valley stays dry, areas to our west stay dry, but by this afternoon, Futurecast even not picking up uh, too much activity, but I think again, southeast Arizona will be the focus of a few storms today. Tomorrow, a little more active across the southeast pocket of our state. We'll have to watch for gusty winds that could send some dust our way tomorrow afternoon and evening, but then by tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, we could see a few storms move through, so the chance for rain here in the valley going up tomorrow night into Thursday morning. But after that, drier air pushes back in, so so we'll clear out those storm chances in time for the weekend. Now with mostly sunny skies today and going into early tomorrow, our ozone concentrations will stay in the moderate range and that'll continue on Thursday too. No air quality alerts, but if you're especially sensitive, that may be something to keep in mind. Today, it's had hotter than yesterday as we top out at 106, 107 at Lake Havasu, 91 in Sedona, 96 in Kingman, highs in the 80s in Heber and Sholo, 92 in Winslow and Flagstaff topping out in the upper 70s. Across the valley, those temperatures are running about a degree or two above the average for this time of year as we top out uh, just above 104. That's the average. Today, Phoenix hits 106. 82 then tonight for a low in Tempe, down into the low 80s across the West Valley, too, into the upper 70s by tomorrow morning in some of our foothills locations. 82 for Phoenix, lows in the 80s across central and western Arizona. And we're talking a mix of 40s, 50s, and 60s across that northern half of our state today, or going into tomorrow morning. 106 today, then that temperature trends down a bit for your Wednesday and Thursday. As we get some drier air in here Friday and into the weekend, we're going to get hotter. So by Sunday, we're talking highs near 107 under sunny to mostly sunny skies. Good morning and thanks for logging on to ABC15.com. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. It's still going to be dry today in the valley, but we've got a chance for showers and thunderstorms in northeast and southeast Arizona today. That monsoon moisture, though, is going to start to make a return, especially tonight into tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, we could see some storms back in the Phoenix metro. For now, though, drier air has been pushing in from the west. As you see from this water vapor imagery, that brown, an indication of that drier air pushing in. So that's going to limit our storm threat from the valley to the west and southwest. That means we're not going to see any rain, but over the higher terrain to our north and to our east and in southeast Arizona, that storm threat is there. So storms are a possibility as we go into this afternoon and evening. We have some rain this morning that's going to slowly push to the north. I think by 9 to 10 o'clock, those showers will be tapering off across northern Arizona. But then by lunchtime, we'll see storms fire back up along the Mugion Rim, and we could see some storm activity across southeast Arizona too going into this afternoon and this evening. But again, the valley looking to stay sunny and dry. Dry, maybe a passing cloud or two, but overall looking at dry conditions tomorrow. Then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, we'll likely see more storm development to our east and southeast. And by tomorrow night, we could see some of those storms work their way into the Phoenix Metro. So there is a chance for some scattered activity by tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So that's why you'll see that those rain chances go up Wednesday into Thursday, but then drier air returns, clearing out those rain chances Friday and the weekend is looking sunny to most sunny and dry hotter too. Today our temperature a little hotter than yesterday. We hit a high of 106 today puts us about two degrees above where we made it to yesterday and a, two, a couple degrees above the average too. 107 today in Lake Havasu, 91 in Sedona, 82 in Heber, Flagstaff topping out at 78 degrees this afternoon. Again, that 30 year average is 104. That's where we were yesterday, but today we're getting just a little bit hotter across the valley with temperatures closer to 106. Over the next couple of days, our ozone concentrations will stay in the moderate range. No air quality alerts, but if you are especially sensitive, that might be something to keep in mind. 106 for a high today, tomorrow 105, and then temperatures drop a bit by Thursday again as we get that boost in that monsoon moisture, but by the weekend as we dry out again, and temperatures will be climbing Saturday, Sunday, sunny to mostly sunny with a high of 107 both days.